Alright, so the spotlight today will be on the mechanical Pandaren Dragon Lane, one of the more popular pets in the PvP meta, and a great addition to pretty much any team. He's like a universal support role. He just works well with so many teams and doesn't really mesh with anyone. Uh, this guy right here, he's available through engineering. You can just make him with some Pandaren mounts, not, oh, I totally messed it up, Pandaren mats. I don't know why I said mounts. So he's probably not as easy to get as he was back in Pandaland, but he's still not that difficult. You can just buy him off the auction house. He only has one breed available to him, so you don't have to worry about getting the right breed, because the one breed he has is actually pretty, pretty nice. Uh, the Pandaren Dragonling, uh, the few things he's got going well for it that make him a tier one pet. For one, he's a mechanical type. Mechanical types are the second best type in the game, right next to undeads for PvP because if they would die, they instead come back to life with 20% health, which is pretty great. That little extra 20% health has actually won me a lot of games with Pandaren Dragon Lanes and other mechanical pets. And he is a perfect counter to all magic types, thanks to him being both a mechanical type and having a spammable dragon type ability. I said mechanical, right? Yeah. So he takes less damage from magic type moves thanks to his type advantage. And he does more damage to magic type pets thanks to his dragon breath. So if he's going against like a, any magical type pets, he just destroys them. He's also really good in PvE pet battles because of his double advantage against them. But he's not really on here for his double advantage. He's basically here for these other two abilities right here. He's got Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt is a really hard-hitting AoE on a four-turn cooldown, and it's it's great. He's got Decoy. Decoy blocks two attacks on an eight-round cooldown. If your opponent doesn't have a way to deal with Decoy, like to do multi-hit abilities with Flurry or have an Immolation to take it down in the back row with a Fiendish Imp, they're going to have to attack it twice to take it down, which is going to give you an extra turn because you lose a turn throwing down the Decoy, so your opponent also loses their turn trying to attack it, and on your next turn you can attack them with Imputiny if they decide to attack it again to try to get the decoy down. So your opponent's going to lose two turns any time, and since, uh, well not every time, unless they have a way to deal with it, which sometimes they do, because uh, there's a couple of tier 1 pets that deal with decoy no problem, but most of the time you'll get off a great decoy. Since the Mechanical Pandaren Dragon Lane is an SS type, and goes first more often than normal non-fast pets since he's 309 speed. He's not very fast for a fast pet. He gets pretty much outsped by every single other fast pet in the game that are SS. That's what I mean by fast pets. Or just off-breed rabbits. But he is faster than all non-fast pets. So he will be able to go first more often than not since not all pets in the game that are great are fast pets like look at graves he's slow as shit so you'd be able to outspeed him no problem and then uh, if you go first you can more accurately use decoy to block problem moves like if your opponent is charging up a I don't know this little rocket ability that oh, I thought I had him starred I'm just looking for like a multi-turn move, like if you're using an Iron Starlet and he uses the wind-up combo. Iron Starlet uses wind-up and then supercharge and then wind-up again. It's enough to one-shot any pet. Uh, you can block that with a decoy by just predicting it. Of course, most good Iron Starlets will use Powerball a few times, that way you can't predict a, a decoy and block it that way. It works really good for just blocking abilities that you know are about to come. Or if your opponent's using... Ooh, I see this sometimes. If your opponent's using a Water Spirit... Pandaren Water Spirit, this little guy right here. He has a really nice combo with Geyser and Whirlpool. Basically, he throws down Geyser first and then Whirlpool. And then they'll both come down at the same turn. I mean, they'll both go off at once. So Decoy actually doesn't really work against that. Since you'd go first in the round against a Pandaren Spirit, he'd probably throw out a Water Jet, which would take out one of the Decoys, but Decoy would take out one of those. So actually, that would be like a, a situation in which you'd want to go second. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it works. Like if he only has one of these, uh, only the Pandaren Water Spirit can double up on the two multi-turn moves. Most of the time, if your opponent's using a multi-turn move, like a Geyser or Whirlpool, they'll only have Geyser or Whirlpool, and they won't go off at the same time like the Water Spirit can. In which case, Decoy is great for dodging those. 
Okay, and since he's got a really good AoE, he's a double counter to magic type pets, and he's got decoy, uh, that's more than enough to make him a tier 1 pet just because he's like a universal supporter. He's also got great health, he's a fast pet. He does do less damage to undeads because Breath also does less damage to undeads, so. Uh, he does get countered by a lot of the more popular pets in the meta, kind of. He's still able to kill a vast majority of the undead pets just because of Decoy and Thunderbolt. And the less pets your opponent has, the harder Thunderbolt hits, so. He's still not blown out of the water by undead pets. He's still great. He's one of the best tier 1 pets in the game right now just because of... I really can't stress how good Thunderbolt and Decoy are. Decoy is great. Thunderbolt just makes him even better. He was a tier 1 pet even back when Thunderbolt sucked ass.